So let's see if a new thumb works tonight. Bye for this. In my last video, I shared how I was trying to bowl with a much more snugly fitting thumb hole and talked about how it went. It was pretty decent once I got used to it and figured out how to pay attention to it and adjust the thumb tape. So before this last league session, I went ahead and asked my PSO to trim up a brush, brush thumb hole that was much closer to the ones I made with tape last week. This thumb now fits snugly front to back with only a piece of tape or two. I went into the league with that thumb in my strike ball. So how'd it go? And not the greatest. I struggled all night with getting any sort of decent reaction on the ball. So this means it's not working out, right? Wrong. There are a few takeaways that had me thinking I'm moving in the right direction. First, the ball really did feel great coming off my hand for the most part. I was hitting my target more consistently and the look of the ball coming off my hand was really nice. There are two mitigating factors here though, my hand position and the lanes. My teammate Brandon observed that when the ball came off my hand well, I was a bit more underneath it, which is great, and I was really getting behind it, also great. The issue though is that I'm expecting the ball to react like it does when I grab it at badly. And when I do that, I tend to get a bit more around the ball, giving it some motion that way. And while that kind of motion is not a bad thing, it's not something that's very repeatable. And the whole reason I'm making this change is to get more consistent and repeatable. I want to be under it and behind it and to do so consistently. So I was playing the ball in the area I've been used to at league, hitting the same targets and rolling the ball in a way which feels good, but it just was not reacting in the same way I'm used to. I was in the Zen for the earlier part of league and it was kind of just hitting like a wet noodle. And I was sitting there going, what? The other mitigating factor comes in when you look at some of my later shots. At one point I moved right, switched into the UFO alert, which has a much bigger cover than the Zen. And I started getting a really nice look. A poorly timed split and a missed two pin. My spare ball still has the mega tape thumb. I really should have it just, should have just hooked at it. it. Cost me a 200 game, but it was otherwise a pretty positive look. Brendan has a theory that the specific house shot at River Rand is kind of rough on stronger covered balls that they have a tendency to burn up and flatten out. I got around a little bit before with the Zen because when I was grabbing the ball, I have a tendency to put some more rotation on it. But now that I'm more behind the ball, it's not really getting traction off the pattern. But when I switched to the UFO alert, my release came alive and the equipment in the lanes matched up really nicely. So in review then, I think I'm just leaning towards this poor night being down to two main issues. First, I wasn't in the right equipment or the right place in the lanes, relying on old information, which doesn't fit anymore to make adjustments. This means I didn't strike much, and I left more splits than I usually do on league night, a total of five, not counting one more in a fill ball. Second, my spare shooting wasn't terrible, but I still missed three makeables out of 16 due to the obvious reason that my spare ball is still relying on a taped up thumb, which is definitely not ideal right now. I missed a fourth due to just missing when hooking across the lane at a partial bucket. Getting another thumb drilled for the spare ball will probably happen this week, but 75% isn't a terrible night besides. So while I shot 510, a pretty poor outing for me, I think I can take away a lot of positives from it. I'm on the right track with my release as relates to my thumb hole. I just need to learn what this looks like and now start to adjust from that point, not using my older data. That's something I can certainly do. It just might take me a little time to really make those good moves for a few weeks. And if I can continue to make this consistent, I can start to get coaching on things I can do with my hand to make it even better. This past week at League was also pretty fun since we were joined by Brandon's friend Griff, a bowler with Justin University, subbing in while Christy took the night off to do preparation for a Thanksgiving dinner, which can't be beat. It was a fun experience being the third best bowler on the team for a night, having another advanced bowler to talk shop with during the evening. I learned a fair bit from watching Wim and talking to him, so you can bet that I'm never gonna be trying to throw a backup ball at spares like he does. I'm gonna put up a collection of his shots into a clip in the future. Something new I'm gonna go ahead and try out with the channel, both for him and for Brandon. You can, you can probably expect to see Brandon's messenger service popping up a little bit more. 
For now, I'm gonna go ahead and sign off. I'm definitely feeling really positive about, about my shot right now. Honestly, much better now after talking through it than I did the evening of league and looking forward to how it pans out. I'm gonna get another thumb drilled up and make an effort to give some other balls a look during warmups. Might even bring the IQ2 out for a spin. Oh, and I might have a new ball next week as well. My first non-Storm Company's ball, one that might be a bit mythic. As always, thank you for taking the time to watch. I appreciate all the comments, keep those coming, and feel free to give a like to videos you particularly enjoy. I will see you in the next one. Good luck and good bowling.